A modular septic tank is a very practical solution for standalone sewage and wastewater systems. This system consists of a perforated flexible pipe, a special expanded polystyrene aggregate, and a geotextile mesh. Keeping things simple is the key to success. First of all, the modules can easily be placed in single file parallel to each other or on top of each other. In other words, obstacles in the working area are no longer a problem. Secondly, there are only two lengths, one and three meters, both easily transportable and installable even by one person. And thirdly, the septic tanks are easily scalable for private or commercial projects, thanks to their diameter of up to 46 centimeters. Connecting the modules is simple by snapping them together. In addition, they're made from recycled materials, so manufacturers and customers are helping the planet by using them. Turkey has a strong passion for construction, granting permits for building over 550,000 apartments in 2020. To excel in the industry, they embrace innovative methods. For example, this combination of bricks plus expanded polystyrene. It's the only system on the market that allows you to build in any region of the country without additional insulation. Exterior walls are a significant source of heat loss, accounting for 20-25% to of it. But in this system, both the bricks and the expanded polystyrene act as thermal insulators, so future owners will save on electricity costs. The manufacturer offers several options in terms of wall size and thickness, and highlights their durability and additional sound insulation. Next, a two-in-one grid. This will reinforce the soil and allow water to pass through smoothly. As a result, a grass or gravel area will always look aesthetically pleasing and will not be flooded after a downpour. The load-bearing capacity of 250 tons per square meter is enough for parking lots, campgrounds and other areas with a large number of cars. The manufacturers have also prioritized environmental concerns by using recycled polyethylene for the grid. The grids are held together by a clip system. One pallet containing 112 pieces is enough for about 25 square meters. And given the size of today's parking lots, the manufacturers will not be short of customers. Our selection continues with composite decking for terraces. This is one of the thickest options on the market, reaching 37 millimeters. The decking doesn't bend, warp, or rot. It also doesn't rust, doesn't absorb liquids, including wine and coffee, doesn't need to be painted or sanded, and doesn't contain lead. The manufacturers have listed all these advantages and more. The primary material used is PVCU. It's like PVC, but without plasticizers, so it can even be used in the food industry. The boards have successfully passed fire, abrasion, and slip resistance tests. And for added peace of mind, customers receive a 10-year warranty. All that remains is to choose the right color and texture. Surprise your friends with some knowledge. These tiles are called zelige. They originate in Morocco and have been popular since the 10th century. Originally, they were small and looked like a 3 by 3 cm mosaic. Each tile was made by hand from raw clay and painted by hand, so they were pretty expensive. Today, they're much more affordable, as the tiles are manufactured in factories. But handmade zelige has not lost its popularity. In the video, you can see a Moroccan workshop using traditional techniques such as sun drying and baking in a classic kiln at temperatures of 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius. There are more than 70 designs in the workshop's catalogue, and the tiles are sold not only in their country of origin, but also in Europe. In Mexico, there are unique traditions too. At an architecture festival, the public was surprised by an unusual installation that offers a fresh perspective on Tepetate, 
a local material rich in calcium carbonate, commonly used in construction. Now, Tepetate-based blocks can be 3D printed. It's easier, faster, and much more versatile than using other technologies. In addition to this material, cement, lime, and water are needed. The robot squeezes out the resulting material layer by layer, like if it were toothpaste, so no formwork is needed. And anything can be built with it. At the festival, they made a roof for a small pavilion. In 2021, approximately 1.6 million building permits were issued in the United States. There is a lot of work in the construction area, and it can be done more quickly with specialized equipment, such as this one. It's a simple and effective solution for screeding concrete. A rebar acts as an axis in the middle of the future construction. The manufacturer claims that even inexperienced workers can perform clean and accurate screeding. There are battery and fuel-powered versions available, with the latter using a Honda engine. Roller lengths range from 1.2 to 6.7 meters. Unlike vibratory screeds, it offers higher final quality and a flatter surface. The two batteries of the electric version can be charged at the same time in just 30 minutes. The price is around $1,600. Now, let's take a look at the advancements made by a major independent precast concrete products company in the United States. These sections reliably protect water and sewer pipes, including storm drains. They're available in various sizes. For example, the Type 1 is 1.8 meters high, and the Type 3 reaches up to 3.6 meters. The length depends on the customer's needs. The company also manufactures fully customized versions, including curved sections. In addition, the sections are versatile and will also be useful in projects involving bridges, pedestrian and service tunnels, subway warehouses, and even shelters. Many shopping malls and office buildings lack visually appealing exteriors. These modules will make facades more interesting and attractive. Thin clay tiles are held in place with stainless steel clips, and from the outside, they look like real bricks. There are several design options, for example, for Flemish or English bond. Four standard shapes are available too. The size of a typical rectangular panel is 56 by 37.5 centimeters. They last approximately 60 years. The panels are fully assembled at the factory, have no glue or resin, are fire rated A1, and are no more difficult to install than similar products. The creators of these new generation roof windows are pushing the boundaries of innovation. Their windows not only provide excellent lighting and enhance aesthetics, but also come with top-notch waterproofing, eliminating the risk of leaks. Customers are offered two installation options, the classic roof-level installation or a recessed installation that's 40 millimeters deep. The minimum angle is 15 degrees. It can be installed on slate, roof tiles, roofing sheets, and other materials. Maintenance is minimal too, requiring the removal of leaves and debris at least once a year, and clearing snow in winter. The combination of foam insulation, cladding, and a soft membrane skirting around the perimeter is an advantage for heat retention, and the window is designed not to interfere with rainwater drainage. Often, a lot of interesting things are installed under wooden decks from wiring to various equipment. To access them, a kind of trap door is needed, a board that can be quickly and easily removed and put back in place. The simple and effective solar switch lock has been developed for such cases. The plastic triangles are mounted on screws with extra room for movement, which allows them to be shifted using tools like a putty knife, while at the same time protecting the board from falling out without being visible. It's an elegant, effortless, and cost-effective solution, with four pieces costing around $3. 
Sometimes, when workers install something on a metal roof using bolts, it can result in leaks at the joints. To prevent this from happening, ingenious people have come up with an innovative membrane that's suitable for both future projects and for repair and maintenance work, even over loose, rusted bolts and directly over the holes. No torch or adhesive is needed to secure the membrane. A surface treatment with primer is all that's required. The primary material used is ethylene propylene rubber, commonly found in automobiles and window profiles. The material is elastic, easily adapting to the shape of the bolt and highly resistant to UV rays and frost, enduring temperatures as low as minus 45 degrees Celsius. How are rooftops used in your city? In Paris, for instance, an exhibition site has set up a 14,000 square meter vegetable garden, where you can even rent a portion of it. Meanwhile, a British company is offering to rethink roofs. It's willing to take on both renovations and new buildings, and you can order not only a green roof, but also a blue one. Rainwater will run off more slowly, so there'll be less strain on drains and storm systems. You can easily build an orchard, a garden, a recreation zone, or something modular. Other advantages include sound insulation, cleaner air, and energy savings due to heat retention. The company is also available for individual repair work, such as waterproofing joints, as showcased in the video. Another solution for waterproofing roofs and facades, the Ephesus Stopper Kit. It is very useful on metal or soft membrane roofs. The kit allows you to start working right away and consists of three components. A flexible skirting board with fastening and two sealants. No prior preparation is necessary. The system allows easy shaping by hand into any desired geometry and the ability to work in confined spaces without noise or mess. Besides, it doesn't require any experience from the user. In addition, these sealants withstand temperatures from minus 40 to 93 degrees Celsius and can be used on site in outside temperatures as low as 0 degrees Celsius. The manual is only one page long and consists of four steps. It's also quite comfortable to work with on your own. In case roof work requires something heavier, this hybrid of ladder and hoist will come in handy. Two models are available with a capacity of 113 and 181 kilograms, both with electric motor or LIFAN or a Honda gasoline engine. Lifting sections of 1.2 or 2.4 meters are also available, as well as stands for transporting solar panels or plywood and other accessories. Competitors also offer their own variations, which can be set up in just 10 minutes, feature wheels for easy transport, and can be powered from a standard American 110-volt household outlet. Both options hold relevance now and in the future. Germany is witnessing a resurgence in solar panel production, while France has introduced a law mandating their use in parking lots with 80 or more spaces. Do you miss formwork? It's time to fix that. This Italian option combines sustainability and simplicity. The basic material is recycled polypropylene. The height and diameter of the tubes can be adjusted according to the customer's wishes. This makes the formwork suitable for projects of all sizes, from private residences to schools and exhibitions. For example, this formwork was used during the construction of a 25,000 square meter campus, reducing the duration of certain works by up to 80%. In the video, you can see the expansion work on a 3,000 square meter cold store, where the usual temperatures are minus 25 degrees Celsius. The formwork made it possible to create the ventilated cavity needed to combat excess humidity, preventing warping and cracking of the floor.